Hello, my name is Kevin. Welcome to watch this video. Today I'm going to introduce you the laser displacement sensor of DS150 model, the 1P measurement mode. This product developed by Delta company DSBU OMS team. The 1P measurement mode stands for one point measurement mode. We can easily to understand in this picture. We need to set up the threshold value. Then the sensor detects the objects. If the object's real thickness greater than the threshold value, the indicator on HMI will turn LED will turn on. If it's smaller than the threshold value, the indicators LED will turn off. That's the algorithm in 1P measurement mode. In 1P measurement mode, the parameter we only need to set up which is only threshold value. We provide two ways to set up the threshold value in 1P measurement mode. The first one is a menu way. The second one is a teach way. So I'm going to introduce you menu way first. Here I'm going to show you in live demonstration. Okay. In this sense, we create a mode button. We set up the R1, R2, how about us, R2. Then choose the 1P. Then we long press set key for two seconds. For the function LED will flash. When it flash, flash, that means we always finish the 1P in R2 channel. Then go back to the menu in R2. Right. We need to set up the threshold V. Okay. For example, we we set about five minutes. Okay. Don't press setup key. The data will store back to the sensor. Okay. Then we finish the setup. We need to focus on the R two indicators so okay if the object greater than our value the R2 LED indicator will turn some okay it's still greater than right okay if we adjust the data right do you see the if the data is smaller than 5, the auto indicator will turn off. Okay. That's how it works in 1P measurement mode. We provide a teach option to set up a threshold value in 1P measurement mode. When is a good time to use the teach option? If you don't know what's the real number you need to set as a threshold value, you can use your sensor to detect the object thickness as a threshold value. So I'm going to show you use the teach way, teach option to set up the value. We use the R1 channel as a 1P measurement mode. Then teach. Okay. So we move the target and long press set up key. The data is 8.24. 25. The data will as a th value store back to the 
1P measurement mode in R1 channel. Okay, so we so if the target thing is greater than the value, the R1 LED indicator will turn on. Okay, let's how do we use the teach option to set up the threshold value? If you have any questions, welcome email to this email box. I will reply you as soon as quickly. Thank you for your watching. My name is Kevin. Have a nice day.